Well, hello there. So in the last video, we mounted an EFS mount point. So if I do L dash L, I can see my EFS mount points here. But if I do a DF dash H, it's gone. The reason why is because I rebooted. And what we did will not survive reboot. So how do we get it to survive reboot? Well, that's where you look at the FS tab. VI, uh, in fact, let's do this as root because we're going to change this. Sudo VI Etsy FS tab. Okay. So here we have uh, my normal mount and I'm going to add a new line here. So if I come here, what I want to do is right here, there's this NFS auto mount EFS HTML. We're just going to copy this entire line here. Okay. And we're going to paste it. Now, what I'm doing is so they have some things already set up. I don't know if they're best practices. I wouldn't say that I'm an NFS expert. Okay. Uh, this will work. Uh, you might want to understand your environment uh, and stuff to know if these are the right read and write sizes and stuff. Um, anyway, I, I know that sometimes, for example, instead of a hard mount, I've had them be soft mounts. So I don't know. Um, yeah, just saying you might want to look at this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to delete this right here. This is the file system ID, AWS region. We'd have to change those two things. We're just going to delete it because it'll be a lot easier just to copy and paste the entire thing. So I've deleted it and I am in insert mode. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to copy the entire thing and paste. And then if you notice, it's this mount point, it also wants me to get rid of. So I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to do, by the way, I'm starting with slash home slash EC2 dash user slash, and I called it e, uh, oh, my EFS mount, right? I think. Um, so the reason why I have the slash is because this, when I first mounted it in the last video, I was in home EC2 user, so it knew just where my EFS mount was. That's not the case here. So and I think I need a slash at the end. So I'm going to escape, save and quit. Now, df dash h, it's still not there, but I can just tell it to mount everything. sudo mount dash a, no errors, df dash h, it's there. Now, if I reboot, it'll stay around. Happy day. Have a good one. We'll see you in the next video.